Okay, let me know everyone. I think that we are back. I have decided that we are going to be streaming in windowed mode today. Um, just in case something else decides to be all weird, but we're back. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, and let's just hop back in and continue from where we left off. Um, I think that some gentlemen were about to try and beat us up, and we were about to explode them. Uh, so, we're going to see how that works out. Um, but, for those of you who might be just coming back in, uh, or, you know, missed it the first time, uh, let me just drop that CWTW while things are loading. Um, the, with the possibility that we may be coming up with some triggers having to do with slavery and uh, human trafficking, uh, so if those are things that are in particular triggering for you or uncomfortable, please take a few minutes, uh, prioritize your self-care, the stream will still be here, hopefully looking at tech issues uh, when you come back. Uh, but please, your health and comfort is the priority here. Um, and, you know, we'll always have other sorts of days and playthroughs and things like that for you to enjoy. Um, so, luckily, because the load screens take so long, they gave me enough time to actually have that whole spiel. So. Can resume? Yes. Okay, so we're doing this again. Cool. Uh, anyways, uh, gentlemen, I'm going to need you to explode. Um, so we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Yeah, that you're, you're thinking, rethinking your life choices, aren't you? Yeah, hide behind the fence. What was that? What was that? Eight ball corner pocket. Bye. Yeah, you're you're human traffickers. You deserve to be sticky bombed to death. Mm hmm. Now, I'm curious whether or not the game is going to do that thing that a lot of games do, where it's like, no, he has to survive to stand trial, and I'm like, nah, he doesn't. Nah, he doesn't. I'm going to kill this motherfucker if we can. Uh, alright, so, let's investigate. There are chains in the cart. There it is. Okay, I am chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Uh well Looks today's the day that slavers die. I mean every day that I manage to get a hold of a bow and arrow is the day that slavers die, but You know what I mean. Okay, how far is this actually? Eh, not super far. At least I don't think it is. For the campfire, though. So we're just gonna save over here. Oh. And I've got all the arrows that I need. If it's possible to be made the enemy of the Karja, I might end up being the enemy of the Karja. The tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. Alright. Well. Manslaughter it is. Is it technically murder? Because I am premeditating this. Of course, you're behind that. That Nora girl we got in the beginning was a nice human being. Don't 
get ideas. Right? There's hands off. Or... Yeah, no. These these guys fucking die. These And I'm going to have to cut through these guards to get to her. Yep. Yep, they're they're dead. Let me just throw down a couple of these. Come on, turn around. Hey, pal, what are you even doing? There we go. I came in on the phrase, is it technically murder? Death of in stream question. Yep, yep. Uh, we're killing, uh, so CW Phoenix Femme, uh, we're killing human traffickers and slavers today. Don't fucking do your pirouette and fall off the guard tower, eh, look. But uh, I hope that you were having a lovely Monday, other than the dark subject matter. Uh, okay, so where are you going to walk to, is the next question. Okay, I think I should be able to get to you from here. I mean, it is murder, but I don't care in the circumstance because afore aforementioned human shitbagger. Yeah, no, that's, that is the appropriate response. I'm just hoping that they don't pull some, like, weak-wristed, like, you know, oh, well, you know, these are the good, these are the bad ones, and it's just like, okay, but, like, the dude who is, like, in charge of doing this is someone who, like, you were, you were all big, like, Pikachu face because you were like, but he would never, and it's just like, dude, you fucking suck, like, you clearly need to fucking get your shit together because you had a sl slaver on your staff and it was like oh no nbd he couldn't be him there we go uh yeah yeah you're right that's that's my bad um, wishy-washy? Yeah, wishy-washy's probably better. Apologies on that one. That one's one I'm still trying to get out of my vocabulary. Oh, we got keys, though. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Got... I mean, I could just free them right now, but really, all of the slavers just need to die, so... That's what we're gonna do. So where are you going to? Okay, so I can just stab you if you happen to be in the bushes. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Uh, in which case, we can uh, have the last ones go out with a bang. 710 split. Um, fear not, citizens, for I am here. Exactly. Welcome on in there, health pack. I hope that you are having a lovely Monday. 
Also, hi, good evening, sorry I'm late. Apologies, not necessary. It's all good, we're happy to have you. Nikoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? That was a really clean murder, thank you. I appreciate the- There's craft that goes into this, you know? I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. Yeah, just pack. We are killing slavers today. Um, and escape the compound. Well, wouldn't you know it? I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. Well, the end is now, Zaid, for you and your men. go kill him do it fucking do it there we go now I have questions for like Karja commander what's his face about like how Laxadaisical his standards are that this jackass was able to operate under his nose. Every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. So they they did the thing where they just like, okay, well, you're fired for being an awful person. And by awful person, I mean like in the disgrace to humanity cat. No, no, you go to prison. You don't just lose your job. That's that's some fucking bullshit. How did Zayed capture me? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was going to sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Uh, I've got to get out of here and do food things, but it's good hanging out for a bit. Take care. Welcome. Well, thank you very much for coming by, Kronos Angel. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your evening. And uh, we'll see you again sometime soon. Thanks for dropping by. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen, and I did. What are you going to do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more rundown they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you. For helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. Nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, it does happen regularly on Twitter. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Oh, wait. I don't actually need this. Let me just put this down so I can loot. Thank you. Wow, that got me most of the way to another level. That doesn't suck. 
but yeah, as far as I know, that's the, the culmination of that quest, and hopefully the last we'll see of that particular theme for a little while. But yeah, actually, uh, Jess Pack and Phoenix fan, before you came in, um, I was dealing with some technical issues, and I was talking about how I wish that there was like a reliable online repository of trigger warnings for different games. Because, like, you know, you have websites like How Long to Beat, which tell you how long it would take to beat a game, depending on how thorough you are. But you mostly have to rely on the accounts of various people. And, you know, if, if it's a 40-hour game, it's easy to forget, like, oh yeah, there was that one really cringy quest out of 40 hours of play. So, like, yeah, it would be really nice to have, like, a repository of that sort of thing is there any collectibles around here doesn't look like it okay cool uh isn't there there one like does the dog die for films i think so the one for films i know about but i don't know as far as i can tell because i've tried looking um at least as far as i've been able to find i haven't found one for games uh, because, oh boy, I would absolutely love to have one. Um, because it would make putting together CWs for these a lot easier. I just wasted a precision arrow on a turkey. I'm silly. I didn't even get fatty meat out of it either. God dang it. Ah, uh, there's some boars though. There we go. Do to do, do. Rich and bony, still no fatty meat. I need one more. Come on, fatty meat. Okay, cool. I think that's all that I need. It's fire kiln root. Don't need that. Uh, where are my other side quests? So, death from the skies, ancient armory. That's one I'm going to be working on for a while. Um,. The border settlement of Pitchcliff is under attack by Glinthawks. What could have caused such an assault? Well, let's go find out. Um, <laughs> um I feel that for games for because like I walked into some shit into, into into a game because the warnings weren't comprehensive enough. Yeah, and the thing is, is that, like they'll omit a lot of stuff, like how. Um, like how in Dishonored 2 and in a lot of horror games, games will use things like people hung by nooses to die as like gro grotesque like ambiance. And that's real triggering for a lot of people. Like you just you don't want to just throw that shit around. Like same with just kind of things like racism and slavery, because unfortunately... A lot of the people who work on games are white and don't really see... Oh, that was a good shot. Don't really see that as that big of a deal to put into it. It's like, what? Whatever. It's just a story trope. And it's like, that's great for you. It doesn't really mean that much. But for a lot of people, it's like, I would maybe just rather not deal with it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Hopefully some um, community-minded person... Um, with the the time and skills on their hands to do it, will maybe put together a repository of something like that, so that we can all kind of make more informed choices and make just generally safer streams for our audiences. Because uh, I know I would like to do that. Um, tramplers. Okay, cool. So let me first and foremost let me see if I can get that travel pack that never runs out from this one place i'm just not wordsing good today that like that tech thing really threw me off because i always like you always hope that at least for the entirety of one stream something doesn't go wrong but or at the very least, that it's a quick solution, but that today happened to be one of the days where it was a hard reset that had to, to fix things, so. I will try and keep that in mind for the future. Uh, resources... I need ten. You drive a hard bargain, my friend. Um, 
I might as well just sell some stuff while I'm here, especially since my resource pack is also almost full. Apparently. Good lord. Got that, got that. Um, Thunderjaw Lens, don't need that. Uh, Raccoon Bone. Don't remember whether I need that. I think I just needed, like, Turkey Skin. Oh well, I'm not gonna get caught up into the, the resource gathering again, because that's what happened last time. Uh, that, and that, and that, and I think that's the vast majority of everything. Cool. Um, let's see here. It does sound like my jam, to be quite honest. Maybe I could use my website to do that. That would be amazing. Um, it's also, it's tricky because there are just so many games out there that it's also, like, it's a community effort. Like, you would need a lot of people to, like, volunteer, even if it was games that they had previously played, to, like, go back and play it again, possibly, because there's always stuff that you might have forgotten. Once I obviously take care of tedious IRL stuff. Yeah, of course, please, take care of yourself first, by all means. Alright, so this is going to be tricky placement because we might just take care of this corruption zone that's right nearby here. Because... I mean, I'm here, and I think I have corruption-resistant armor. Yeah, then I've got a crap ton of resistance for it, so... Now, I have not done a corrupted zone since I got past Day Tower, so this is going to be very interesting. Because I don't know what sorts of corrupted enemies are going to be in these more advanced ones. Uh, also, I should get my other Elemental Slinger out. Because Blast Slings are great for exploding humans, but they're not super great for taking on machines. Okay. Corrupted Rock Breaker. Okay, this is a new one too. This massive machine burrows underground and surfaces with devastating force. Okay, cool. Uh, disable destroying these components disables the ability to burrow underground. Cool. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. And how many of you are there? There is at least three. Use the slings more than I ever did. They're, I mean, they're real good, especially because I didn't have the Karja Warbow forever in terms of applying freeze is what I use it mostly for because um, it builds up real quick. Um, I think there's only the two. Well... Uh, this is gonna be real awkward if I'm wrong, so... Why don't we... Set these up. For real, there's... Oh! Y'all just decided to, to show up. Everyone's just new today. Okay. I don't know if I have the machinery to be able to actually take all of these on right now. Because I also don't know what their move kit is. So, I think I may have to chicken out of this one at least momentarily. Please let me pick this up. Nope, okay, cool. Well, that's there forever now. Um, or at least until I come back. So I'm just gonna fucking run. Because, yeah, that is... Do, 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 do. Honestly, if it was 
a bunch of creatures that I had fought before, even if they were corrupted, or even like just the rock breakers, I Look feel I feel like I would feel more comfortable. But because I would also have to learn all of their new move kits before I, or rather, is that a thunder jaw? Uh, no, I think that's just another trampler. Oh, no, I'm wrong on two counts. It's a snap maw. I've been partial to the tripwires and the shock arrows. The, the tripwires are absolutely essential. Like, absolutely essential. Um, the shock arrows, and actually shock in general, most of the medium like creatures i've been finding aren't or like usually tend to be resistant at least to a degree that i'm just kind of like all right well if there's a mixed bunch of different creatures then like it would probably be best for me to just try and go maximum damage all right can i override you real quick please I would like to do that. There we go. Cool. Yeah, you just, uh, uh, go kill your friend. I'm just gonna go over here. And more tramplers. Perfect. So while you do that, I'm going to set these bully boys against each other. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the, the tear break. Um, what's it called? Tear burst arrows, whatever they're called. Um... Can I... I'm too far away to do that to you, unfortunately. Oh, but all of you are aggroed to my new friend. That's not ideal. Oh, and there's a Ravager here. Interesting. Alright, so which one of you did I just call? Because I wouldn't be able to do that if you were too far away. Well. What's shocking you over there? Oh, there's shell walkers. Alright, interesting. I was not expecting that. Jeez, the gang's all here. Well, anyways, uh, y'all have fun. Let me just, uh... Now I do know that I can override you. So, come here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And I get the upgrade where they stay overridden forever, which is real helpful. all doing oh my god all right cool there are people over there There is a lot going on. All right. 
right, well. I always love when an unexpected fight goes well. Because there's like always the scenarios that you can prepare for. But it feels, wow, all right, well. Are you not entertained? The perma override is so OP. Honestly, with the number and ferocity of machines that you face later on, that feels like, like, valid. That feels super valid. It's like, oh yeah, look, I have, I have the permanent one, but apparently if it's strong enough and it gets damaged enough, it just, like, it's still... Oh, no. Okay. Cool. Never mind. Yeah, no, he's just fine. Alright, cool. Friends for life. BFFL. Um, alright. Right, there's probably someone over here who's gonna want to thank me. Uh, fire kiln, don't eat it. Or I thought there was. Alright, well, never mind. Good deed is its own reward and all that. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but it's also like, holy crap, yeah. No, it is, uh... I think that the cooldown on the tool and the fact that you have, that they have to be unaware for you to do it, um, helps balance it out. Um, because I, if there's like a big combat, I never end up getting like more than one machine because of the fact that like the other machines will immediately know that it's like not on their side anymore. Um, so that helps like, oh, I did, but then they just kind of like walk, like they just kind of disappeared because normally they're like. Nora, if I could spare you, spare a moment of your time, and like all of that sort of stuff, and they'll just keep yelling that shit. Um, because I remember the first time that I took out a Stormbird, there was just someone hiding ab amongst the rocks somewhere, and it was like, where's Waldo trying to find this person to give me their, like, good reward box thing. More metal vessels? Okay, cool, that doesn't suck. Um... Charger site. Man, I haven't seen chargers in a while. In a hot minute. I mean, could, could I just go up this way? Because that might just be simpler. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me just check what they're weak to for a moment. Because I have a tutorial that requires me to explode freeze tanks on stuff. Um, Red Eye Watcher, Stalker, thank goodness I've only ever run into one of those on that one quest, because Stalkers are a pain in the butt. Uh, Thunderjaw, Stormbird. Where's the charger? Are you, like, way over here? There we go. Uh, no, it's a Blaze Canister. Okay, cool. Can I, do I have a tutorial for that? Um, boot to do, blast sling, rattler, blast sling, war bow, uh, shock arrows. Um, do to do, that shoot off canisters, shoot plates, trip machines with fire wires. I think I've already done the one for like my, uh, Weak to freeze damage using freeze bombs like tramplers, fire bellbacks, and rocker. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I've already got the one for the shadow sling. Um, all right, I might just go ahead and just make you explode then. Um, do do do. You're not quite 
close as close together as like grazers are. There we go. Oh wow, you're not nearly as weak to that as they are. There we go. I am level 35. I am incredibly overleveled because I have been doing all of the collectibles and like that was a good shot. I'm proud of that one. Um and I've also thunder jaws are basically XP loot boxes for me at this point. Um because they get me like a third of the or not a third, maybe like a quarter of the way to a new level. So, I've taken out a few. Uh, let's see here. Oh, right, I keep forgetting. Oh, wait, no, my level is only just above my camera. I was thinking maybe it was hidden by my webcam, but it's just above it. That was me when I played this, yeah, yeah. Fuck. All right. I feel like Glint Hawks are probably my least favorite one to fight right now. Because they're just a pain in the butt. Okay, so stealth is not going to be the thing. Um... Oh, wait, I just got a new outfit that is resistant to ranged attacks. So, let's go. That's melee. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. I just scrapped that, didn't I? Damn it. Okay, fine. Um, we'll just go with my protector armor because it's got a arranged thing on it. Uh, and I'm going to get my rope caster out because my bombs are going to be exactly useless against these. I also need to craft a bunch more. Thank you. One down. Come on. Another one down. Yep, yep. Busy looting. One moment. How many of you are there left? Looks like at least three. Or you're just gonna run. Okay, oh, nope. Get down or get put there. Ah. Oh, one of them is stunned. I'd like to get up there and critical hit you, please. Please.
Okay, yeah, we're... I can't get to you, so we're just gonna do this. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Oh, well. Let me stab you! There we are. Craft a couple more of these. Come on, I would love to get that prompt for the crit. Alright, or that'll do. Okay, you're gonna be useless because, uh, my bongs are gonna be useless because I was reading something at the same time you said that, and I was gonna say, well, I mean, the game does occasionally have you blaze it when necessary. I'd be like, that is... <laughs> blaze, that's an entirely different kind of blaze. All right, well, okay. We're really gonna do this? Because we can. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Now, quick save. All right, now to loot bodies. Speaking of Blaze. You know if I ever have 420 units of blaze in my inventory, I'm gonna have to just make a super childish, like, Twitter status, just with the screenshot. Uh, hello there, base prefect! Welcome on in! Thank you very much for the raid! I trust that your writing stream is going well tonight? Good to see you! I hope that you were having a lovely Monday. Uh, oh, there's another glint hawk that I hadn't looted yet. Please... Give me your metallic entrails, such that I may make further weapons with them. Um, there's an interesting... Oh, there's probably the equivalent of... So there was another side quest that I did that had a processor that was making machines act peacefully. I have a feeling that this may be the Angie processor equivalent. See, um, I was looking at that. Was there's a signal unknown device? Very helpful. Hello, who are you? you just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where'd you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor. I ordered him to stay put. I'll throw him in irons. He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother. Why didn't he listen? Why? It's okay, Hulk Hogan. We all have those days. You and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glint Hawks? Has anything changed that might have lured the Glint Hawks? 
Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap, not like the Carger. They only keep the pretty parts. So exactly. Hulking out is not gonna help you, brother. Never. If a Carger wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Listen, don't don't run wild on him now. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have fought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Well, what exactly I mean, if you've got XP, I, admit, I can make it happen. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hawks to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bum. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. Can't imagine why. You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carch is behind all this. How much you want to bet it's not a carja? Be too obvious. That device is sending out a signal. Might be distracting the glint hawks. Turn off. But your Wi-Fi. Come on now. Um, what are you doing? By the sun, it won't turn off. What is it? I didn't make it. I scrounged it from a workshop. Whatever it is, ever since it's been on, these glint hawks have been attacking. I don't know how to make it stop. And, and you just you you didn't feel the need to. There you go. <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands... Okay, all right. Pull it, pull it back With there. The sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. There are nobles in... Mm, okay. Well, I mean, I guess if there's a king, there's nobles. I guess? I don't know. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But... I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how much... <sighs> okay. ...hidden in this world, as we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. All right. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glint Hawks? By the sun, no. I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. All right, it's workshop it is. Dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. 
But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river. Okay, dude, um, you're at like a nine. I'm gonna need you to bring it down to like a four. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. Okay, so we will take our chances right after I take a quick bio break. So I'll throw y'all over to BRB for just a moment and mute myself, and we will, as the name implies, be right back. and boop all right cool welcome on back thank you everybody for your patience all right let's figure out exactly what's going on here now i'm wondering oh wow it's way the hell up there okay interesting uh there is another merchant here Uh, where's the merchant? Where's the merchant? There you are. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your gourds. Uh, anything new? Shadow Blast Sling. Yes, please. I will absolutely take that. Shadow Rattler. Shadow War... Well, okay. Of course, now that I have the other war bow is when I have enough to actually... Okay, well, here, let's get the Warbow first. 
and the blast sling. And luckily, I have plenty of shards, so I am going to. Let's see, is there actually a reason to kind of hold on to this? Not really, it doesn't look like. So let me take these modifiers off of the other war bow. And throw them onto here. Because we got a shock. We got freeze. And for the first time, I have corruption. Um, let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, all right. That's interesting. Those numbers don't look that big for like the the application of um, like the shock and the the freeze and all that sort of stuff. Which is funny considering like the. Let me just, yeah. The thing that it was saying before is that, like, it was kind of specialized for that sort of thing. Um, let's see. What if we just max out damage on this as much as we can? Or at the very least, we can do damage, damage, handling. So that way we can just keep throwing nades constantly. I am absolutely okay with this as a scenario. Uh, and I'm also just going to take this back, and I might as well just like sell a bunch of my kind of cruddy old weapons that I'm not going to likely use from now on. Um, do, do, do. Weapons. Uh, you can have that, and this, and that, and this, and that. Um, and we're going to see whether or not I get a better rope caster later, which that'll be interesting. Um, and do you have any more outfits? It does not look like you do. Okay, cool. I've got one of most of the outfits already, so that works out well. Oh, hey, look, supply crate. Don't mind me, I'm just going to rob you after I just did business with you. Um, okay. Oh wow, this looks depressing. I didn't know we were headed up to Mordor. Um... Okay. Oh wow, first one out of the village is a Ravager. Okay. Well, um, I got something for you, my friend. Have you heard the word of our Lord and Savior of the Override? I promise you, I will teach you the gospel. Going down fast. Yep, come here. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Let's be friends. Beautiful. Now there was a long leg over there. And I need to take that out real quick before we get company. There's a couple of them, actually. I mean, if you're both facing away, neither of you are facing away. Okay, I was incorrect. There are three of you. Okay, well. 
That may change things. And you are all also vulnerable to shock, I believe. to the bush. Nope, not you. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going to hide behind a rock. I mean, okay, friendly fire, my dude. Come here. Yeah. Didn't work out well for you, did it? Good boy. Good bird. I, I am gonna have so much luminous braiding, apparently. Need to make more of these arrows, though. I still have my rope caster out. I never remember to switch my weapons out. It's a problem. Hey Lloyd, this is our new friend. Chargers. Lots of them. And there's probably gonna be a bunch of fish in the river, so... I could hunt them, but I don't need... any more bony meat. I need... Fatty meat. Ooh, and there's another campfire up there. Beautiful. Or rich meat. Oh, Glint Hawks. Okay. I don't know if you'll actually spot me down here. It would kind of suck to put a save space right below them. Or if they could, at least. So, that's the Glint Hawk spot. So, that's not going to be too far from here. It does look like there's a Stormbird site up north, though. So, that'll be interesting. Um, what if... actually hit you? That wasn't a bad shot. No, nope. screwed that up. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, rope caster. Let's get that rope caster right back out. Yep, come on. And the stealth outfit is not going to do me a whole lot of good right now, so... Okay, you're still friendly. Excellent. Okay, for real, my dude? Oh, wow. My long leg kicked its ass. Let me just fucking use you as a paddle ball real quick. Good boy. Good burb. You have... Jeez, I, I almost want, like... I haven't gotten the machine repair thing because it just doesn't seem, like, real useful right now. But... I almost want to get it, just so that I can repair him, because, like, you... MVP. MVP, my friend. Good job. You and, like, the Ravager that I overrode... Overrode? Over... Yeah. Overrode? Yeah. Um... Before... Because, like, he was just doing strafing fire from over there. That was pretty dope. It pays to make friends. And until further notice, we're gonna put stealth outfit back on. There we go. What time is it? What time are we sitting at? Seven, three. Okay, so we got a little over an hour. Stormbirds are going to be a motherfucker to fight up here if I have to. I'm not looking forward to that. Is at least down on the plains, I have enough space to run around and, like, evade them. But, like, this... This is no bueno right here. No bueno at all. Distinct absence of bueno. All right. Campsite. There's the scrapper's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Well. Are any of these handholds? They are not. Okay, well. Question asked, question answered. Oh, there are the handholds. Well. Watch me completely with that. Or, how about... How about I just stand on the handholds instead of grabbing them? How does how does that work? Can I do anything for you? Um, yep, there's another one right down there. Cool. Uh, anything up? Down? 
yeah, I I just had to trust that that was a thing there because I could not see a handhold. Cool. Hey, a loot box. Love it. Um, more handholds? Still up there, so... All right. Um, hmm. Okay. I think this is the way, this feels like the way I'm supposed to go. But I'm honestly just following, like, yeah, that was especially just like, okay, game, you, you tell me where to go, because I am basically taking it on faith right now. What the fuck? Oh, hi! Fucking Robo Cassowary. Alright, that's most of your hit points gone. Jesus, okay. Whoa. You that was very rude. Indoor voice. Don't you fucking back sass me. I can get out of this. Uh let's see. I'm surprised this doesn't cause an avalanche. I feel like that you might be looking at the cause of the avalanche right now, and the only reason that it's not is cause like we're not under a peak that would, like, over there, absolutely. Um let's see. Wait, did I gain another level? No, oh, no, I just gained the one from earlier. Okay. I think the... Pass the test. Alright, cool. I mean, the test was definitely me. <laughs> Immediately borking the stealth on that. Freeze Bellow back. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I'm positioned fairly well, and I can override it now. Uh, do, do, do. Yep, come here. Oh, I can't override you yet. It's only fire bellowbacks that I can do that for. Duly noted. I have my regular trip caster out, right? Come on, do it. There we go. Okay. Um, I did not realize that the bellowback override that I got only works on fire bellowbacks. Well, today I learned. Um, okay. I did get a new modification, though. 
Um, do I want to use it on that? Because I already have a purple damage mod on my sharp shot bow. I already got one on my trip caster. That one on my sling. Uh, war bow. That one's not super great for damage. So yeah, here. Let's swap that out. Cool. Um, that's not bad at all. Um, that's funny. There's, like, literally no reason for me to use, like, hunter arrows other than the fact that they're cheaper to make. Because the, the hard point arrow does more damage and more tear damage than the basic one. That's funny. Uh, alright, let's go up here and scout real quick. Because I have a feeling that there are more baddies over here. Are there ever not more baddies, to be 100% honest? Oh, hi! You fucking bullshit. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that I came over here and saw that. Because that would have sucked to have that just be a surprise. Okay, cool. You know that part where you're, like, playing D&D and, like, the ambush thing is supposed to happen? But, like... If I find any of his brother, the machine should leave. Now... The question is... Can I actually do that? Or do I need to just, like... I could just merc it. I could probably just merc it. So, I could kill it, or I can disable him. Which, to be fair... I also- holy crap, you're a big boy! I swear, that's like large for a Stormbird. Okay, well, you know, at any time, if you want to, like, piss off in another direction, that would be super cool. No? All right. Fucking loitering. Sitting there like you pay rent. So there's one right there, but it's like right out in the open. All of these are right out in the open if I'm 100% honest. What are you even doing? Are you just... Okay, cool. Some fucking fighter jet reject. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna just craft some of these ahead of time. Is what it is. Look, he's, he's got a Cyclops visor. Alright, whenever you're ready. Alright. You don't see me. I'm not here. For real. All right, dude, if you want this to be your grave, we can absolutely do that. No, you, no. Bad. Bad. attack armor it is uh let's see so i want that 
and let me just modify that with some shock resistance. Oh, that's the only one that I have. Okay, cool. Uh, melee attacks, I guess, would probably be the next best bet. Because it does have a talent attack. Yes, you're, you're big and loud and angry. There you go. I'm gonna wanna get my potions out. No, what's up? No, what's good? regular healing. So turns out the rope caster is not super useful against really large creatures. Um here, let's bust out the blast sling instead of the trip caster. Okay, I knew you were gonna die bomb eventually. There we go. Nice. Dive bomb me again? Come on. Do it. You won't. Now what's up? Now you were talking all that good shit before. What's up? Cool. I got something for you. You could have just let me pick those beacons up. Really, this is your fault. Number two. And let me not fall down the cliff after I've already beaten the boss. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. 
Tattered Letter. Okay. Uh, dearest cogs and puppets, you miserable bungs have failed to find me. Again, your attempts to capture me would make me laugh if I weren't so busy running circles around you in your so-called intelligence gathering. Just give up, or better yet, off yourselves and save me the effort, you worthless slags. Never yours, Derval. Okay, Lex Luthor, I guess? Alright, man, do you have anything of yours that I can just steal? No? Alright, well... There's a bunch of arrows. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. Once again, I'm thinking way too hard for, like, video game terms, but the trajectory of those arrows would put them coming from up here. And... I mean, I'm rewarded with a beautiful view, but that's about it. And I think that's everything. All right, well. Um... Let me just see if there's any more scrap from this storm bird that I blew off. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, cool. Sail! There's totally a metal flower over there. I can get that off stream. I don't have to get that now. Just the the ADHD oh shiny thing drive is so strong that I'm like, ooh, look, there's a thing over here. Completely forget what I was doing. It happens so often. Especially in a game that has so much to do in it as this. There's two? Ooh. Interesting. I don't know if I want to press my luck right now, necessarily, though. They're, like, right... Okay, they're not quite right outside the village. My sense of scale is off. Easier when I was a kid. Let me get my stealth outfit back on. Oh yeah, and there's no cover right near them either. I mean, I guess there's a couple little patches. Yeah, I might as well see if I can get some components off of them that I might be able to sell. Can I climb up here? Okay, good. Can I get you from here? Yeah, I can. Perfect. It's wild to me that I can override these, but I can't override a Freeze Bellow back yet. Just like kind of the level of power that each of them represents. Oh wow, just just buffet me with shrapnel then, rude. Cool. Well, uh, how about... Excellent.
Listen, I took away your toy because you're not handling it responsibly. But, there's no reason to get harsh about it. Did I not even throw the cannon off? What did I knock off of it then? Sparker. Okay. Four of them. Okay. And now I have a, th a thousand. I get the feeling that maybe I should sell some of these soon. What do you think? Anyways, uh, later, uh, eat your vegetables and be nice. Get along. Are they now your metal children that's gonna take away your toy because you're not hit? I mean, yeah. Listen, you had a gun. I'm reasonably sure that he can't have that without a permit. So, you know, I'm only doing the responsible thing. Okay. Anyways, hey, jackass, I killed a metal kaiju. Don't do silly shit again. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. Can you just shake my hand? My family, I thank you. Can we do without the spit part? Extraordinary reward box. All right. Well, let's see. Well, I don't have any of that. More blast traps, I'll take that. Oh, nice. And I'll just leave the, the detonating blast trap in there. Or sorry, the shock trap. That maybe if I ever decide to use them. Uh okay. What else do I have for quests here? Hunting for the Lodge, Ancient Armory. Okay, cool. I think that's the entirety of ones in this immediate area. God, truly, like, I mean, I at the risk of stating the obvious, God, this game is big. Like, like the fact that I, this is about half of the map over here, and I still haven't done the Frozen Wilds yet is well, wild. Um, let's go for the vantage point, actually. Um, of course I'm gonna go to the, the campfire right next to the Thunderjaw site. Um, let's see. Can I disassemble these? I mean, they're basically useless. Yeah. Uh... Air coil. Pretty much anything below blue at this point is really not worth keeping around. Okay, cool. In case I have something else that I want to throw more damage onto later. I don't know what else that would be, but, you know. Better to have it and not need it, etc. Um, 11 left, okay. Hopefully, it gets more fatty meat, so I can get that unlimited fast travel thing, so I don't actually have to keep spending these. That's like my most valuable thing that I want right now, is it's just like, now screw the advanced ancient weaponry and armor and everything. I just want the fast travel thing, so I don't have to keep spending them. Uh, do, do, do. So that's the opposite direction of where I want to go. We are going to go up there. Up onto the mountains. Oh, hey, look, another tricky. Oh, wait, there we go. Which 
meat and bony meat. Chalk wax, don't need it. What are you angry about over there? Get some Visine, your eyes are red. Alright, you're fighting something. Well, you know what? Um, I'm kind of on the Ravager's side, folks. Not gonna lie. Uh, so how about we do this? How about we... Yeah. Oh wow, it's taking some hits though. Sail. And now to clean up the remains. Look at the flowers, George. Forty percent damage coil. I don't hate that at all. I'll tuck that away. Cool. Oh, there were scrappers up here too. Interesting. Anything else medicinal? No? Okay, cool. All right, up the mountain we go. How close is that fox? Eh, it's pretty far away. Okay, and the machines down there are pretty far too, so. You, uh. You okay, big guy? You just, like, thinking about life? Alright, seven. I need three more. It took me a hot minute to do basic addition in my head. God, if this doesn't look ominous as hell. Interesting. This is the site of a cataclysm right here. Just looking at the way that the trees are? Jesus, okay. Okay. How about... I figure I might as well check if there's anything over here, too. Oh? Okay, so that's just the path up. Okay, cool. Well, uh, my attempt to go the opposite of the way that the game wants me to go has been thwarted yet again. Come on. And another handhold. Another handhold. Stalkers, watchers. What are they doing all the way up here? So, more than one. 
That's not good. I need to take out that stalker by surprise if I can. Because they're going to be an absolute motherfucker to deal with. I uh, guess it's time for my new war bow to start being of some use. So, alright. How many we got? We got destroyed watcher, stalkers right there. Turkey, don't need to worry about that. Um, oh, I can't scan you from there. Okay, interesting. You're just on the side of the wall. All right, that's cool. Are those landmines? Did you straight up just put landmines there? Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's review what stalkers can do now. Um, mine, mine launcher. Well, that answers that question. Um, stealth generator. Cool. Gonna destroy that as soon as possible. Um, bodies weak to shock. Tear, tear, tear. Okay. So, we're definitely gonna double knock a couple. Uh, oh, and I'm also gonna make some freaking corruption arrows, because I actually have a thing that can fire those now. Uh, okay, so. Okay. Great. The stealth generator. Well, that's literally one inch on the ground. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can lay mines too. Okay, well, I need to do that. Oh, is that just another... Okay. Is the stalker still around? I think I took it out. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, well, that could have gone worse. I did use up a lot of resources, but uh, was that two or three stalkers? Because I don't know if I actually got the one 
or if he decided to disappear and then like liver punch me when I thought that all of the stalker or all of the watchers were dead. Oh, they were red eye watchers too. Interesting. God, I used up a lot of potions in that fight. Um but that was um I mean, yeah. Looks like I came in after a pretty meaty encounter. Hey, Vince, what's up? Hey there, Tim Z. Uh, yeah, we faced down... This is only the second instance of me facing down that particular enemy. Um, they're invisikitties. They're, they're basically displacer beasts, but, like, you know, robots. Um, there's only one other mission where I faced them, and that was when it, was, when it introduced them. Um... And then there's this one. And then there were two already kind of stocked up on the cliff, as stalkers will do, stalking, um, with a whole bunch of minions. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you are having a lovely Monday. Welcome on in. How are things on your end of things? How are the things in the stuff? Oh, something big crashed here and or exploded. Is that a thing I can destroy? We're gonna find out. No? Hmm. Going good, coming into the last full week of this charity bundle I'm selling, trying to figure out new ways to promote it. That's always the trick, isn't it? It's just kind of the, like, after several weeks of doing the promotion thing, you're like, I, I'm out of puns, I'm out of memes, I'm not entirely sure, like, you know, I've been going on podcasts and stuff to promote it. It's uh, it's definitely tiring. I have a lot of respect for people who do that as their main gig because uh, that is not something I feel like I could do. More bony meat. Boo. Boo hiss. I think I'm going to spotlight some of the individual games in it and do some mini threads hyping them. Nice! It sounds like a good idea. Uh, ancient Debris. Is this, nope, this is just medicinal stuff that I cannot grab, apparently. Um, God, this continues to go higher. All right. Is there anything that I can scan here? Because this looks like... This looks like some kind of aircraft or spaceship crashed here. I mean, this is super cool. There's a rabbit. Here we go. Hey, another fat of meat. Two more to go. Fatty meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah fatty meat. All right. This is the real treasure trove. Nope, completely missed it. Oh, it's a boar, too. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to kill it in one hit anyways. Hmm. Just make sure... Yeah, I've got plenty of everything I need for those. Um... Oh? That's just a destroyed watcher. keep looking for, like, the hidden treasure chests and stuff. The RPG instincts kicking in. Okay. Well, there's another campfire way the hell up there. Um, I guess it's time to actually ascend. But yeah, I definitely think that spotlighting some of them is a good idea, because, you know, it can be... It can definitely feel sometimes like it's easy to kind of look at it as just kind of this amalgamation and thinking of it like, look how many games you get. But then, you know, I don't know if you remember those, like, those DVD packs that were like, four movies for $10, and, like, one of them was good. Uh, so 
I can definitely feel the like, oh, is this, this is wary, or I feel wary to like, look at this, even though on paper it looks like an amazing buy. Okay, so we got two Glint Hawks. I want to get that Ravager under my control if I can. We got another campfire there. So let's get over here and save. This is a whole encounter. I was not expecting this to be as formidable an obstacle as, I, as it has turned out to be. So what's your path? Okay, so you just have a little circle over there. Got more glint hawks. Red Eye Watcher, okay. Okay, I don't want you to see me. Uh, yeah, come here. So I can take you out quick so that you don't alert your friends. And step, step. Beautiful. Other one right there. Oh, but that one's right out in the open. Okay. Interesting. Can I? No, I can't call you from here. Another Ravager, though. That could be valuable. Alright. Er... There's an obstacle between you and me, so I can't call you when you're behind that rock. What does your path look like? You're way up there. Okay, cool. Okay, how about now? Come on, little guy. Come on. Come on, stop. Okay. Yeah, come here. God, it's like a howl in MS DOS. Alright, let me just give you a bit of a hand here, bud. There we go. Yep, come on, keep hitting him. Hey! Whoa, alright, okay. Uncool. There we are. So, fun thing I'm learning, if you manage to, um... Oh wow, that bow draws really quickly. Uh, I should heal myself. Alright, where the hell are you?
Alright, that's not bad damage, but I'm at a terrible angle right now. Alright, I need to get another one of my outfits on. Survivor? Survivor, okay. There we are, beautiful. Excellent. Did the other, no wait, I already killed the other Ravager, wow. No memory. Absolutely none. Okay, well. Glint Hawks remain some of my least favorite enemies. They're just... I mean, they're pretty much like any annoyance enemy in a game where they just... It's hard enough to just fly to get to engage them effectively. Because they just kind of fly around and poke you. But, you know, I suppose every game kind of has a few of those, so. Uh, alright, anyways. Uh, back to farming fatty meat. You? Is that ten? Hey, that's ten. Look at that, we accomplished something today. Uh, all right. Holy, it's way up there. Okay. This better be super cool. All right. Because, I don't know, someone fucking dropped the Hammer of Dawn from here. Because this is an absolute debris field. Is that another Watcher? Yeah, okay. Because there's like... That's like some kind of armored vehicle. Hmm, what is all loot that Watcher corpse while I'm here? Okay. Uh, alright. Further onward to the peak. And let's hope that there aren't even more baddies up there. Well, I mean, whatever. That's what the, the central gameplay loop of the game is. If there are baddies up there, then we will play the combat portion of the game rather than the traversal portion of the game. Yeah, come on. Grab onto it. Firmly grasp it. And we grab onto that, and up to there, up to here, across here, here. Oh, it's a cutscene, okay. Ah, crap. There's a new kind of machine, isn't there? Oh no, it's just one of you assholes, okay. You heard I just, like, killed one of your friends, right? Like... Uh... Okay. So, let's just... We're gonna put away the Tripcaster. We're gonna get... Uh... Do-do-do... Shadow Blast Sling. Ropecaster's useless. We learned that last time. Um... Yeah, Shadow Blast Sling. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, I didn't even change my outfits. Wait, I absolutely did change my outfit. I guess the aesthetic didn't catch up yet? Alright, whatever. Um, okay.
Okay. Uh, eh. All right, let's break off some of your bits. Jesus, okay. Right, you have a tail. I forgot, you have a tail. Okay, luckily, other than the tail attack, it mostly attacks on a straight line. Okay, the chest plate is not breaking up. I need to wait for you to come back down. Or strafe, that could also work. Wow, I timed that dodge roll poorly. Okay, now the time to put the damage in. Yeah, enjoy those. Oh, I missed it. Okay. And you're going to come diving down in a sec. I would like to not be glitched on things when that happens. Okay, well, three, you know what, rule of threes, that I guess I kind of, in a certain way, should have seen that coming. Cool. Alright, let's see what I get for all of my hard work. Uh, holy crap, it's still even higher than up here. That's wild. Oh, I've still got plenty of ridgewood. That's not a problem.
Um, my focus isn't picking up anything over here. Okay. Yeah, there's just some kind of huge vessel that, like, got trounced up here. Uh, that's the area to repel down. So then... Ah, this is the area to get up. Okay. Now, was that supposed to be the first time that a player encounters a Stormbird? Because, like... I would find it surprising if that was the case because of how easily you can, like, accidentally get spotted by one when you go outside of Day Tower. So that's very interesting, if so. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff, alright. Okay. Interesting. So, there was, like, a ship? Or, like, a bunker? Interesting. Because it looks like it got blown open. That's very cool. Alright, well... Let's, let's see what else is down there, I guess. Let's take a look around, see if there's anything else of note. I'm gonna die. Well, nope, okay. Just barely didn't. That's cool. Luckily I have one of these left. Now, is it gonna block me off if I go over here? Because I kind of want to see what all of this over here was supposed to be. Because, I mean, clearly, part of the answer is just wreckage, but... Oh wait, there's actually, there's, there's still a path, okay. Here, why don't we just try following that? What? Um... That's another set of ruins. Oh, shit. This is so wild. Oh, that's really, really cool. Oh, that's really, really cool. Okay. Um, well, if there was ever a cliffhanger to end off an episode of the Stream of Consciousness with, I think it's that one, and I think the next time that we come through here on Friday, um, we're going to be taking a look as far as we can through that set of ruins, because I am super curious. That is, like, so often I come up to one of these areas and it's like, oh, cool, you got a new bow or something like that, but like this, this is the sort of shit that I love finding, is it's just more mysteries and more... Like, more questions, and yeah, no, something, the scale of this is so cool. All right, all right, okay. Um, but let's see here. So, I must, I must temper my hype. 
I must temper my hype for now, at least, um, so that I can say um, thanks to everyone who dropped by tonight. Whether you came into the stream right when we started, whether you weathered through the tech issues, or if you dropped by right near the end, uh, I appreciate you. I love when anyone else decided to spend their evening with me here. You didn't have to. There's plenty of other things you could have done, but you decided to spend it here hanging out with us at the Stream of Consciousness. So, uh, I appreciate all of you um, and look forward to doing this kind of fun stuff again. Uh, but until then, uh, I think uh, what we are going to do, because it's Monday, is I believe that we are going to raid uh, the ever awesome... Let me first of all check that Sin is doing Twitch things tonight, because I know our Sunflower Sovereign was on vacation last week. Uh, do to do, what time is it? 8.30? Okay. And that's why I wanted to check, is it looks like Sin is not on tonight. And so instead, we are going to go hang out with the always rad Pikachu Lita, who is playing some Ratchet and Clank, a series that I have a ton of affection for. Um, so please, go hang out, show her some love, and we'll see you back here on Friday to look at all of this really cool sci-fi shit. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, until then, I hope that everybody is taking care of yourselves the best that you possibly can, um, because you deserve it. And we'll get through this end of the week, and we'll see you on the other side of it. Have a good night, everyone.